Hi there. Now in this question, we've got to, first of all, find the value of 8 to the power 5 thirds. And in the second one, simplify fully 2x to the power half, all cubed, divided by 4x squared. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, as usual, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for the first one, we've got 8 to the power 5 thirds. Now you should be familiar with this kind of thing. What we do is the 3 here denotes the cube root of the number, which in this case is 8. And then after that, the 5 means that we take this answer and we raise it to the power 5. So the cube root of 8, well that's 2, so you've got 2, and that's all to the power 5. So 2 to the power 5 is going to be 32. Okay, so that's that part there. And then in the second part, we've got to then simplify fully 2x to the power a half. Let's just copy this in. 2x to the power half, all cubed, and that is divided by... 4x squared. So I'm going to take this in slow stages. I'm sure you could do it quite a lot quicker, but it's just to break it down. What we've got is 2 to the power 3, 2 cubed, and we've got then x to the power half, all cubed. So when you're doing that, you just multiply the 3 with the power. So that becomes x to the power 3 over 2. And all that is divided by 4x squared. Now, 2 cubed is 8, so you've got 8x to the power 3 over 2, and that's divided by 4x squared. You could divide the 4 into the 8, and that goes twice. Now, at this stage, you've got two options, okay? What you could do is you could just simply subtract the powers. We've got our 2 here, but subtracting the powers, 3 over 2, or 1 and a half, take away 2, leaves you with minus a half. So you've got 2x to the power minus a half. Or alternatively, knowing that you've got more x's, if you like, on the bottom, higher power here, 2, than what you've got on the top here, you could take the 3 upon 2 away from the 2, and that would leave you with x to the power half. But that would be in the denominator. So you could rewrite it as 2 over x to the power half. But that's up to you, okay? Both answers are quite reasonable.